Hey everyone, welcome back to Wisteria Witches. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that pretty much anybody can relate to, and that is the topic of birds, particularly looking at birds as omens or signs. So this is a topic that will probably widely be debated between people because every sign in nature, particularly with birds, has a lot of superstitions surrounding it and people think different things about each type of bird and each incidence with a bird. For example, the owl. Many people look at the owl as a totem or a spirit guide of some kind. Me, I see the owl as a very beautiful and wise creature. I think they are particularly special to the goddess. But there are some cultures who look at the owl as being evil or a negative omen, basically. There are some Native American and Mexican legends, I believe, that talk about the owl as being a bringer of bad luck, of ill omen, and particularly that black magicians or evil witches and such would use owls for their evil work, to do their bidding, basically. Now, I don't necessarily believe that per se, but like I said, it depends on the culture and the person. I do have an experience with a family of screech owls, and for me, I do not look at it as a negative thing. I think that in a lot of cases, birds are to bring us messages, and they try to even warn us in some cases. In my particular case, this one particular owl, who, whom I actually named Ollie, would come around. It happened, let's see, probably twice. And he would come around the week before one of my neighbors would pass away. The first time, it was sitting on the side of my house on the cable box, which I have a video of him. And that same week, my neighbor on that side of the house, you know, to that side of the house, passed away. The next time it came around was the following year and was in the springtime. And it was with his family in the tree out back. And my neighbor across the street, his father, ended up passing away. So to me, it was, it was like they were showing up literally right before someone would pass away to sort of bring a warning. Not necessarily that they brought, you know, the death like some cultures believe, but that they're, they're around to warn us and they come to warn us. Now, like I said, this is, I mean, the, the situation's going to vary depending on the person, okay? So another bird that <clears throat> is debated amongst people are the crow, um, the blackbird, and the raven. Any kind of blackbird in that family, some people look at as you know, a sign of bad luck, but a lot of us in the, the pagan community revere crows, ravens, and blackbirds and such because they're very closely related to different deities, including Bronn, the Morrigan, <clears throat> etc. So, as far as crows go, for me, I think that they can definitely be tricksters, but I actually really enjoy when crows come around um, my backyard and such. And <clears throat> some Native American legends, like I said, they, they, they view them as tricksters. Like they, they play tricks on people and, and different other birds and legend. But it really depends on your thoughts and feelings towards each animal. I think every bird has a particular message to bring you. And <clears throat> if you just keep in mind that it depends on how you feel about the situation, then that's really what counts. Okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of another bird. <clears throat> oh, when birds fly into your house, back in the day, people would freak out and think that this was an ill omen and a sign that someone in the family was going to die soon. Well, I think before you go and freak out about a bird flying into your house, you need to kind of examine the situation, like I've said before. You know, is 
is the bird freaking out and trying to get out of the house? Is it flying into walls and, and, and whatnot? Then that might be cause for concern. It might be showing that maybe you're feeling boxed in and that you need to get out more. I mean, you know, it, it really Another depends thing on is how you when feed. birds fly into windows. Now, I've seen this happen a lot, and usually it's kind of sad because, you know, you have to rush out and kind of make sure the bird is okay. Every time this has happened to my family, it's never happened at my house, but when I was a kid, whenever it would happen to our family, it felt like the bird was trying to warn me of some oncoming turmoil in the family, some type of argument, some type of unsettling factor, if that makes sense. I also had a bird one time while I was driving with my windows down literally fly into the back seat of my car and then fly out the other side and it freaked me out needless to say it wasn't you know I'm not scared of birds but if you have a bird fly into your car it's gonna freak you out and probably a week or so later I had a family member pass away so I don't I don't associate any birds with evil or you know black magicians or anything like that just because I don't want to view them as that. Um, some people do. Like I said, it just depends on how you feel about the particular bird and the situation. Now, I will tell you that I despise geese. <laughs> and I also don't like turkeys, but um, the reason for that is because when I was five years old, I was on a field trip and um, at a pond and we were feeding the geese. And I went to like walk back to the car and I had had one of those t-shirts on that had the little pocket in the front, you know, I don't know if anybody remembers those from like the 80s and 90s. Anyway, and I had put a cracker in my pocket and the geese literally ran me down, trampled on me and were pecking me to get the cracker, if you can believe that or not. So ever since that particular um, incidence, I've hated geese. Like don't bring a goose around me or it's going to get hurt. <laughs> um, the other thing is turkeys, especially the male turkeys, they're really freaking mean. I don't know if anybody has turkeys on your farm, but I lived on a farm and we had a turkey and it was mean as shit. Excuse my language. But it would try to bite my, my leg, like it would bite my pants to get to my leg, you know, peck at it and then hold on. Anyway, I think birds are meant to be out in the wild. They're not particularly meant to be caged in or fenced in. Just my opinion. <laughs> but I do think that they are messengers. I think they bring us messages from the heavens or from the gods or from the universe, however you want to look at it. And it really depends on your situation and how you feel about the bird and what it's trying to tell you. Okay. So if you want to read some more about this, I have an article on it that I will post in the info below. And if you have any questions or want to share your, sto your stories about birds as omens or signs, then please let us know. Okay? Blessings.